Much anticipated British and Irish Lions tour to South Africa has been revised due to the global pandemic and concerns over a third wave in the Rainbow Nation. But with the tour set to take place, will the reigning World Rugby Champions be ready for the Lions? CGTN's C.S. Duplessis takes a look. It feels like a lifetime ago when Sia Khaleesi and his band of merry men in green and gold brought back the Webb Ellis Trophy from Japan. Now, after more than a year without any international rugby for the world champions and a brand new head coach, the biggest series on South African soil in well over a decade looms dauntingly large. The fact that there was a schedule of 13 tests for 2020, uh, which haven't happened, um, yeah, that would have given Jacques a bit of time to find his feet. Um, but now, I guess there's going to be a battle of fire against a, a, a coach from of the Lions who's been in charge there, for, been involved for three tours with the Lions. Although the amount of rugby has been limited, plans have been put in place during the pandemic, and with a 47-man squad expected to be announced, the Springboks will have very little game time to prepare for the visit of the Lions. They'll have sort of two, three weeks where they can get, get together with the squad. They'll have two games against Georgia as well. It might not, it's not perfect, but at the moment it's the best you've got. So you've got to make the best um, of those plans. And if there's one guy who can make plans, it's Rossi Erasmus and, and, and his, his assistant Jacques Nina. But those two, we saw at the World Cup, um, if there's somebody who can think out of the box, it'll be there. The number one ranked team in the world will face the best Britain and Ireland have to offer without the usual packed stadiums brimming with green and gold jerseys. But motivation won't be lacking from both sides going into the first test despite being a little undercooked. It'll go a long way to see how our players perform, how quickly they get battle hardened. But test match rugby is not something that you can practice. You've got you to get out there, you've got to sing the anthem, you've got to feel that pressure and then you've got to take the knocks and obviously deliver the knocks as well to get used to it. It is very physical. I think one of the most uh, physical games I ever played in my life was that second test at Loftus. Uh, I think you know it's yeah, it's brutal. I think he, you know afterwards it takes you a few days to recover. You sit in the ice bath, you know, try and uh, nurse all those bumps and bruises. You know, it's probably the height of physicality. So now I think you know the boys will be bracing themselves for that. The Lions will know that their last visit to the Rainbow Nation in 2009 ended in a series defeat. But with the playing field somewhat leveled due to the pandemic, the two tests at the stadium behind me look set to produce fireworks at a time when the South African public is desperate to see their beloved box take to the field.